Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And of course, uh, we had a new build this week, which is build 22.593 for both the insiders on beta and on dev channel. Two channels that are linked right now, so it gives you a chance if you want to move from dev to beta in order to maybe leave if you want to remove yourself from the uh, Windows Insider uh, rings. Now, uh, one of the things that, uh, what's actually what's new in here and how does it perform? Uh, in my uh, case, it performs well. I've been using it a lot since uh, yesterday uh, when it was actually released and installed. Install went well, went pretty fast too. Um, what's new in the build itself? Uh, one thing that they have not mentioned, but that is now something you can do in File Explorer, you can go on the File Explorer and have File Explorer open directly to OneDrive if you want now, or you just choose which where you want actually to have it open. When you go to the File Explorer on the upper uh, taskbar at the top, you will have three dots. You can click there and go into Options. You'll notice that in the Options on the um, top, it says Open File Explorer 2, and it says Home. But you can click there, this PC or OneDrive. So when you choose one and you apply it, it will by default open to what you want to see directly. So if you're a OneDrive user, it will open to OneDrive directly. Here, I chose this PC. It opens at this PC directly and so on. So depending on what you're going to choose, it will open itself in the proper Place. But mostly, now, you can actually have OneDrive directly uh, rather than um, having to choose and do all that you have to go to, to go to the OneDrive folders. There is also um, File Explorer now has, of course, its different names that are written, like Home and Quick Access and Favorites. Everything has its named um, place if you want. So the default home page file explorer now called home and um, the quick access repurposed for pint or frequent uh, access of uh, folders. So uh, that's a little different. They're kind of reorienting or reorganizing the file explorer a little bit here. Uh, if you are using a pen, you will actually have a pen menu icon on the bottom right in the taskbar. That also is something new that is happening here. And if you have multiple windows open and suddenly you have the urge to use some kind of layout, you can now easily have a layout by just uh, using a shortcut, which is Windows Z or Windows Z. And you'll see a number uh, on each of the different layouts. For example, you just press the number that goes with the layout you want to choose. I'll choose three. And what happens is that it then uh, tells you uh, where you want to have the first layout, the second layout, and so on. And make those layouts, of course, to go uh, directly to the layout that you prefer. And so, you know, it's brand new features of layouts, uh, of course, as you uh, can easily go from one to the other. And the focus assist or focus mode now has five minute increments for everything that you can choose. And you will have now alerts when the core isolation is turned off uh, in your device uh, security app. So, uh, of course, mine is turned off, and I just told it to not bother me with it because I have incompatible drivers. But um, now it's going to alert you when something's not right for security. One of the biggest fixes, and I think a lot of people will be happy, a lot of people had uh, problems with the Explorer EXE crashing, which meant that there was a refresh, the taskbar could disappear, reappear, lots of things happening. That was a number one complaint lately. So uh, that is actually fixed apparently, and now you should have a much more stable uh, Windows build. As we're moving on, because this is technically Windows 10, 11, sorry, uh, 22H2, it's uh, really what is slowly becoming 
the next version of Windows coming up later this year on the build. So uh, this is kind of interesting. And it does say here 22H2 in the Windows 11 when you look at Windows version. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.